All right, well, let's look at a sample application and see how we can use SOS in Visual Studio. This application is pretty straightforward. Um, the class itself contains a storage manager. The main method simply instantiates an instance of the class and calls run. Now, in the run method, we're sitting in a tight loop, about 50,000 iterations, and really all we're doing in this loop is starting a transaction. In order to be notified that the transaction has completed, we notify for a transaction event. And the function that we want the storage manager to call us on when it's done is the transaction function, which is defined down here, and we do some logic to kind of finalize the transaction. So very straightforward. If I run this application and I monitor it in Task Manager, I can see that memory slowly kind of creeps up. It started at pretty low, and now it's roughly about 24 megs uh, of usage. So how do we go about debugging this? If I was to break into Visual Studio, um, debug, break all, what are some of the commands I can run here to say, well, tell me what's, what's in memory? So you can get a better grip of where to start investigating because I, my suspicion is that we probably have some sort of a quote unquote memory leak. Well, SOS can come in really handy here when you want to debug these kind of things. And what you have to do is I'm going to stop my debug session, go into right click on the project, go into properties, go to the debug tab. And there is a checkbox down here that says enable unmanaged code debugging. You have to have that check for SOS to actually work in Visual Studio. Once I've got that, I'll rebuild. A build succeeded. And I'll go ahead and run the application again. It should finish pretty quickly here. All right, now it says done. But before I exit out, I'm going to go back into Visual Studio, break into the debugger, and now let's see what we can do with SOS to figure out this particular problem. The window that you will use in the Visual Studio debugger with SOS is called the immediate window. So I can go to debug, windows, immediate. That brings up the window. And really, the only thing you have to do is say dot load SOS. And that simply says load the SOS debugger extension. And now I can run the SOS commands. One of the really great commands of SOS is a command called bang dump heap dash stat. And that simply says tell me everything that's on the managed heap in memory in a statistical format. And what I can see here is that the output says, let me scroll all the way back up to the top, the number of instances of a particular type and the total size across all those instances. So when we scroll down a bit here, we can see that we've got 10 instances occupying a total of 120 bytes of system.security.permissions.security permission. What's cool about the output of, of bang dump heap dash stat is that it's sorted by total size. So if I suspect I've got a lot of things on my managed heap that shouldn't be there, I just usually look at the bottom most. And here we can see, well, we've got 50,000 instances occupying a total of 1.6 megs of some system.event handler. Well, maybe there's something strange going on there since we saw memory climb and this seems to be the biggest hitter. So what I can do is I can take the method table, which is the first column, and do a dump heap dash MT with that particular method table that says, show me all the instances of that particular type. And since we had 50,000 of them, it's going gonna, it's gonna to output all of them here.
and if I can speed things up there we go so he's outputted all 50,000 rather 50,001 50, now I can arbitrarily take any of these object addresses and run another cool command in bang uh, SOS called bang gc root followed by an address and this will tell me what other objects hold a reference to this particular instance and what this tells me here is that our program is holding a reference to a storage manager we know that which holds a reference to an event handler that holds a reference to an object array that holds uh, a reference to yet another type of event handler so this gives us the reference chain to that object in our code the culprit here is the canonical quote-unquote memory leak in managed code where you have a a long running producer such as our storage manager and you have what you think are very short running consumers of, of a particular event once we leave the scope of this function we don't expect that the storage manager will hold a reference to our transactions anymore but in reality as long as the storage manager is still alive and you haven't explicitly deregistered your event handler that's always going to be referenced this is a very common problem you see in dotnet uh, applications using more and more and more memory so really the solution to this is have a line of code oops Um, somewhere where it makes sense that essentially does minus here and that deregisters and breaks that coupling between the storage manager and the event handler.